Hello everybody. Welcome to the second channel video on Friday. <laughs> yeah. So if you saw our video yesterday on the main channel, you know what is coming today. Today we are going to be showing you our Ookie Halloween. Ookie. Cookie. House decor. I love it. I'm our so excited. Halloween and fall decor that we have in our house. A viewer <laughs> one time suggested this about Mm, two or three weeks ago. It was a while ago. And it was a good idea. And we have now used up the other ideas that we had. Mm -hmm. I mean, we still have more coming, obviously. Tons. But this was next on the list. And so we're going to be showing you our Halloween decor because I do actually have a lot of a lot of Halloween decor, first off. We have a lot. And a lot of, like, stories and history behind them because my parents have given me some. I have, like, certain ones from college. And, yeah, so we're going to be showing you all of the Halloween decor around our house and what the story is behind them. And yeah, here we go. So hopefully the lighting is okay. It is like 10 at night and we just wanted to get this video going for you guys. And of course, like it's Halloween stuff, so nighttime fits more than daytime. First off, we have this candy corn family Aunt Agatha brand like advertisement sign. This I got at Walmart like two years ago. They had a bunch of these like tin vintage looking signs and I love like tacky vintage looking Halloween decor. So I got a few of these. You'll see the other ones coming up. Obviously Mike wants us to show off the next item. So this was sent to me by a viewer like way back, like a couple years ago, like two or three. And yeah, she sent a care pack. Oh my gosh. She sent a care package and in it included this Boo Ray Dunn Halloween pet dish, which we have used continuously because it is so cute. And also Mike has his little Halloween shirt on. And Mike, I will get you water once we're done filming this. <laughs> then we have these, which I just bought this year. They're just from the dollar store. They're like little Halloween candle. I think you're supposed to put like a tea light candle in them. Candle cups, and I'm using them for coffee instruments. And actually, one of them is holding another Halloween decor. This is from Target last year. These are coffee stir sticks, and they are beetles and spiders, and I actually use them all year because I love Halloween and I don't discriminate which month gets Halloween stuff. Then we have this, which is from the dollar store this year. It just says, eat, drink, and be scary. Self-explanatory. This is from Target. Oh my gosh. I freaked when I saw this. It's so cute. It is a mini waffle maker in the shape of a skull and they are only, get this, $10 at Target. And they're probably there right now. Please run out and go get one. So, so cute. And this is actually kind of a hint at next week's video. I'm not gonna say what is happening, but yeah. That's a hint at next week's video on this channel. Then we have this. I just got this today and it's only sitting here because I was trying to put batteries in it and it doesn't have a home yet, but it's like a light up powered kind of like haunted house little station. It was at a Goodwill. This is from Target. He was five bucks. Ghosts are like my favorite Halloween character. So cute. He's the little tiny mug. Then we have a Halloween tea light and the salt and pepper shaper shaker from the dollar store last year, but they do have them this year if you want them. This is from Anthro. It is a little pumpkin tray and we put our beer bottle lids in them as you saw in the last video. And another one that you saw in the last video, of course, right next to the vodka that was in the last video as well. This is a white skull little cookie jar. And inside we have purchased many more which is <laughs> actually so which good. is brew kit cats <laughs> they're so good like so i good. we still 100 percent recommend them they're so 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 good and last up in the kitchen is this skull hand wine bottle holder which does not have wine in it right now because <laughs> we drank the bottle of wine and that's from target that is i don't remember how much i think it's 15 dollars at target and it's they so have good. they have them this year and then this is like a plug-in light-up jack-o'-lantern, and this is a mini battery-powered jack-o'-lantern with the cutest face ever. On to the dining room. And first off, we have a real-life actual mini pumpkin, again, from Target. 
and I am just like obsessed with pumpkins. They are just like so perfect. They're always so perfectly round. They're always so like cold, even if it's hot. Something about them, I love them so much. Then I showed you these two in the candy trying video. These are from Target and they're three bucks a piece and they are faux wood. I don't really know what that means, but they're so well made and they're just so like cute. Love them. Lots of fall candles. And then these two fall plastic containers are from the dollar store. And then he's from the dollar store too. We kicked on the mood lighting. These are some Halloween colored lights all around the dining room that we got from Amazon. It was really cheap and they're really nice and like not too bright, just kind of like calm. And hanging from them is a little ghost that I got from Spencer's in like high school. Literally like six, seven or eight years ago. I've got a few of these and they were in Spencer's. I don't know if malls even have Spencer's anymore. I don't even know if they have Halloween stuff there anymore. I don't know, but that's where I got that. Then we have some little like Halloween ornaments on our calendar. So cute. Some people are making Halloween trees. I might do that next year or something, but not this year. And a Halloween trick or treat bucket with my signature hat on top. And next to that is this Halloween garland. Is that a garland? Yeah, mm -hmm. garland. Not easy to see, but the mood lighting is still here. She's there. So, yeah. <laughs> They're cute. And some ornaments on there too, because the ornament pack came with some funky little pumpkins. Then, right when you walk in our house, here I am. And there's the Gucci backpack. <laughs> right when you walk in our house, we have this little, like, kind of like shelf, and it has this cute little ghost who eats our keys and our face masks and we also have halloween face masks from janet ryan's mom Thanks, right up Jane there Park. and some fall little like foliage and mike's treat jar that is a vintage jack-o-lantern jar and in an older year bath and body works halloween candle holder with a fall candle inside and then this emptied out target fall candle that I'm gonna do something with it because it's cute, it's a cauldron. So in our apartment, we have this weird like random shelf that connects the kitchen that you just saw is on that side of it. And then on this side of the wall is the living room. And I just wanted to show you that we have this ghost trick-or-treat bucket and that is vintage. And actually my family used to play this game in the backyard called hide and spook. And we would hide trick-or-treat buckets all over the backyard in trees and under things and on the trampoline and just everywhere we have a pretty big backyard and this is one of the ones we would use and it's like a huge amazing memory i have of like halloween season in the past and so i love this vintage ghost bucket right above the door ryan hung a target what do they call it now it's not the dollar section it's like it's the, like the one, three, five dollars. Yeah, it's like the deal section or something. Yeah. He bought this like Halloween witch's broom with like twigs almost as the stems. I and so now it's over the door. All year round. <laughs> and then right next to Ryan's multiple masterpieces, we have this little vintage skull paper hanger. It's kind of one of those like window hangers. I just put it there this year. We have this fall. Where was this from? Powder burn? Yeah, it's like, it's some really expensive wreath. And I found it in the bins because it's real like shrubbery, if that's even a, a word. Shrubbery. But it's really, really nice. And it was brand new in the bins, which is kind of kooky. And also Ryan put a bird in it. <gasps> put a bird I on it. I forgot about the bird. Oh, I love him. <laughs> and then on our tray of, or our shelf of random stuff, oh, we've got some cool. crud hanging here, but we have this picture of us in my college town on our like second Halloween together. We went to this like jack-o'-lantern show that they had. And then I don't think any other Halloween except stuff that is not hanging up yet. Oh, Mike's. And right under it, Mike has his huge target bucket of dog toys and dog bones. So this is how many toys he has. Yet the only ones he uses are from you guys, which actually, our Halloween as well, because he loves both of these toys so much, and one of them is a pumpkin spice, a pumpkin spice latte. Then let's move over to our plants. Mike says hi. 
We have some Halloween signs. We have some ceramic pumpkins. We have these little like glitter stick out of the dirt dudes. We've got this cute little poisons and potions mobile that Ryan just bought this year. Pardon Mike. He's what? literally playing with the toy that I just said. He loves that. Thing. He loves it it's so much. So and yeah, that's what we have over here. And we have a Beanie Baby riding in Ryan's Mobile. Mobile. And then around our back door, we have from my college town, Goodwill, I bought these jack-o'-lantern lights. They're so cute and vintage, which my favorite Halloween decor is vintage. And this year I bought this Happy Halloween banner. This is from the dollar store last year, but they have it this year if you want one. And then this is also from my college town, Goodwill. I love this, it's so cute. I know this is kind of like a messy, how they're like overlapping and stuff, but I just think they're cute. There's another one of the Walmart tin wall decor. I love the vintage style. And out there, you can kind of see in our tomato plant, there is a couple of solar powered ghosts. Why hello gentlemen. And I just remembered on the outside light, we have another one of my Spencer's guys. On the wall behind our couch, there's Ryan. Hi, <laughs> welcome to my shoulder. We have a Vineyard Vines Target um, ore, which is not Halloween, but like over it for Halloween, I hung like fake whatever spider web net netting. Knitting. Yeah. For ambiance. Whatever you want to call that. <laughs> and then on the coffee table, yes, we do have a ring light set up. That's why it's so bright in here at night. We have not only a goodwill receipt. As we always do. <laughs> but we have this vintage little it. like Halloween ceramic decor. I have a bunch of Halloween stickers. We have a cat succulent, a black cat. I just got this little like jar it tin says, thing today. It says beast wishes. It's so cute. It is. Brian's like. white claws, very visible. <laughs> and then this pumpkin, which is kind of like iconic because you've all seen him in a lot of thumbnails. <laughs> it is a fake pumpkin that we use in the thumbnails. It's like a this is another one that I think I bought at the Goodwill in the town that I went to college in. I just thought it looked so like from from just visuals. It, it looks really so real. Look real. And so Honestly. I bought it because I was like, okay, well, pumpkins don't live forever, so I'll buy one that will. <laughs> this one does. Yeah. But like, and if then, you see it from like here. Yeah. Or in the thumbnails, real. looks yeah, real. Yeah, like in the screen. And then cute. that is kind of, that's, we actually got this pillow with our bedding. It's just very like fall colored. <laughs> our orange. So thing. around Halloween, we put it out on the couch <laughs> or else we have all these like boho ones. We have my fun. And Mike's wonderful, like, ugly little bone. Oh, God. Welcome to the bathroom. So as you can see right away, there is a small jack-o'-lantern that actually goes with that white one in the kitchen because they light up with batteries. Then we have this from when I used to work at Walgreens. It is a trick-or-treat little light-up sign with ghosts and this motion sensor ghost, which we don't turn on because he screams, but if we were able to, for some reason, host a Halloween party, we would totally turn it on so it could yell at people when they go to the bathroom. This is a Target, like, velvet pumpkin. It's super soft, and these are, like, tin. I just thought it was really cute. And this is a vintage, I told you I was sick, candle holder. This is from my mother. She was gonna donate it and I was like, <laughs> no, that's mine. I don't let her donate any Halloween stuff. If she's gonna get rid of Halloween stuff, it's gonna be mine. And so I took this from her and it's like a candle holder. We just put some like room spray and a lighter for the candle inside of it. And it's super cute. It's just like a tombstone that is for candles. And this is the posh room, which has too much going on. So I'm not gonna show you anything but this wall because there's a lot of crap everywhere. But I feel like everyone's like business room, posh room, storage room, whatever is like that. But the one Halloween decor we have in here is a kind of like a witch's like hanging her clothes to dry line. It's so cute and it fits the posh room so perfectly because she's like hanging her clothes. So we don't only have human clothes, we have witch's clothes as well. And in the bedroom, the last room of the apartment, we have many a candle, as you can tell, including this adorable one from the dollar store once again. And I filled it with wax and made a pumpkin candle out of him. We have this adorable giant 
Target light, which is so, so cute. Again, I love like a classic or a vintage style decoration and that is what he is. And right behind him is the last of the Walmart tin signs. This is possibly my favorite. I really like the vintage cat on it. And then right next to that on the windowsill is another one that the evil Debbie was about to get rid of. And actually this light has like a huge, huge, huge nostalgia to me. So I'm mad at her for wanting to get rid of it. She used to keep it in the bathroom every single Halloween and you can't hear it on camera. Here, I can, I'll try right after I tell the story, but it makes like a ding noise every time the light switches colors. And I just remember being like in the bathroom staring at this every single Halloween season, just listening to the like ding of the light changing. And so it has like a weird memory for me and I would not let her get rid of it. And yeah, so now it's mine. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our Halloween and fall decor. We have a lot. And we honestly, do. there's a possibility that we miss some because we just have so much. And we will get more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that we like physically weren't in this very much. I know. And obviously, I probably, yeah, I probably talk the most, but I mean, we can't really both tour it. And like, I buy all the decor and I take it all from Debbie. Um, so it's a I more, bought the wagon. Yes. Ryan bought the little car. I love him. Oh yeah, see like we even missed this. We have some like sticky. We have some like we have scary. we got so much. That was probably ninety percent of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know. Do you have as much Halloween decor as us? And obviously like I'm so obsessed with Halloween. I'm sure I have more than most people, but oh, we let us know like what your favorite decor is that you have at home and if there's like a special story attached, like my light yes. that Debbie so evilly wanted or to the, donate. I told you I was sick. Yeah, or that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we will see you for some more fun on this channel next Friday. Or we will see you tomorrow for What's All Saturday on the main channel. So thank you for watching. And we will see you on one of those dates. Goodbye. Bye.